This is part four of the care and maintenance of the one cylinder two stroke cycle gasoline powered chainsaw. In part four, we'll be discussing the cylinder head. Refer to the SDFD Academy Truckside YouTube channel for information about the rest of the saw. To start, make sure you have the saw in full choke or the down position. This closes the butterfly valve on the carburetor to make sure no debris will get inside when we remove the air filter. So after putting the saw in full choke, remove the air filter cover, then take off the air filter itself. Remove the carburetor cover to expose the chamber. Next, remove the air baffle to expose the spark plug boot. When removing the boot, use the scrunch to pull up on the built-in pull strap and use your finger to pull off the boot. Don't attempt to simply pull off the boot with your hand or you run the risk of detaching the spark plug boot from the spark plug wire, rendering the saw out of service. Notice here that there are different sized scrunches. You'll need the longer of the two to remove the spark plug itself. Once it's removed, inspect the bottom to make sure the electrode tip is still attached. Inspect the ceramic ring for damage and make sure the washer is present. A saw that's flooded will have a moisture on the tip of the plug, preventing it from igniting. If moisture is present, use a clean, dry rag to wipe dry. Then inspect the top to make sure it's still in good shape. This is a photo of a spark plug that would be out of service. Notice the damage at the top of the head. The cover of the IRPG is the right width to fit in the gap at the top of the spark plug. Next, use your star tool to remove all the bolts. Remove the cylinder head cover and wipe it down if needed. The cylinder head itself gets lots of material gummed up on it. Before cleaning it, put the spark plug back in to prevent any material from falling in there. Take the flathead screwdriver on the scrunch to scrape off any caked on material to prevent overheating. You can also spray some diluted degreaser on it and let it sit for a couple of minutes to help break it down before scraping it off. You can see the difference in color on the cylinder head here, from where the buildup of tar was compared to what a clean head looks like. Excess buildup can overheat the saw. Make sure that when you're scraping the material out, you don't accidentally bend or break the fins. That would put the saw out of service. After cleaning the cylinder head, it's time to reassemble the saw to put it back in service. So remove the spark plug again and place the cover back on. The cover has a little channel where the spark plug wire fits. You can see the channel here. Next, replace the spark plug and hand tighten. Screw the bolts back in and make sure that the coil inside the spark plug boot is still in the correct position before replacing it. Use your scrunch to tighten it down further, but don't overdo it. Reinstall the air baffle, carburetor cover, air filter, and cover. Once you've done this, make sure the saw is in the off position for storage on the rig.